Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm starting a resource pack series. What I thought I'd do in this is teach you guys everything you need to know about resource packs, whether it's animations, changing the color of the sky, the void, whatever. But first of all, we of course got to start with the absolute basics of it. So today I'm going to teach you guys just how to make your basic resource pack and how to edit all the uh, sorry, edit all the textures and all the blocks and all that stuff. So let's get right into it then, shall we? All right, guys. So first thing you want to do. Let's just head over to my notes. There we go. Um, first of all, you want to head over to find your Minecraft home folder. Um, if you're on Windows, you go to start, then you go into the search box, you type in percent, app data percent, uh, hit enter. You should find like one folder called dot Minecraft, hit into that. That's your Minecraft home folder. If you're on Mac, just get spotlight open, get the squiggly line slash library slash application support uh, slash Minecraft. And that's your home folder. And you're there. And if you're on Linux, I don't know, Google it, find out, I don't know, find out for yourself, you're good. Once you're in your Minecraft home folder, scroll to resources. Um, you wanna create a new folder and that's gonna be your resource pack. So call it what you want. I'm gonna call it my custom now. I'm gonna call it Goats for Lift. There we go, perfect. Right, once you made your resource pack folder, head inside it and uh, get a text for your editing program. I'm gonna get text edit for Mac. If you're on Windows, get Notepad, get Notepad++, plus plus, anything that's in plain text. So avoid Microsoft Word, avoid, I don't know, pages, whatever, as long as it's in plain text, basic stuff. Now type in, or look in the description of this video, you should find something like looking like this, squiggly lines, pack, pack format, all that stuff. Simply copy all of that, chuck it right into your Notepad then go format, if, if you're on Mac, if you're on text, edit, go format, make plain text. Otherwise, in Windows, I don't know, find a way to make it plain text. It should already be if you're in Notes or Notepad++. And then you're good. Okay, once you got your text in your text document, hit save. If you're on Mac and you're using text edit, untick hide extension. Untick if there's no extension provided, use .txt. And also, if you're on Mac, um, don't use Unicode UTF-8. Use either Latin US DOS or Windows, I mean, sorry, Western Windows Latin 1. I'm going to use Latin US DOS. And whether you're on Windows or Mac, head to the title and you want to make it called pack dot mce, -E, yeah, sorry, mc meta. So mc m e t a. There you go. Hit save. Great. Mine saved to my desktop. Once you got that, just drag it into your text, sorry, your resource pack folder. Um, then what you want to do, or what you can do, it's optional, you can make a header for your resource pack. I'm going to do that right now, heading to my photo software, just create something new. As long as it's square, I'm going to make it 128 by 128. Easy, done. Um, let's use, ooh. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm not sure if you guys can uh, make it to the same beauty standard as this guy, but basically you can do whatever with this. So I'm going to save that, um, call it pack dot, oops, sorry, I'm not saving it, export it as a PNG, yep, there we go, PNG, export it as a PNG called pack dot PNG. And once again, that's going to my desktop, I'm just going to chuck this over there and chuck this inside my resource pack folder. There we go. All right, now that you've got your whole texture, sorry, your resource pack set up, it's all ready to go, you can start adding your textures. Now there's the long and tedious way to do it, or there's the quick way. I'm gonna show you guys the quick way. To do that, head back to your Minecraft home folder, that home folder. Um, in there you should find a folder at the bottom called versions, head in that, head into the current version you're using, I'm using 1.8.8. You should find a jar for that. Um, just unarchive it, find a way to get inside it, look inside it, and you should see a lot of class files. Search for the word assets. It should be pretty much the only folder in there. And uh, don't go in it. sorry, just copy it and chuck it right into your pet texture pack folder. Sorry, resource pack folder. Great, now that you've got your assets going, what you can do is start editing your texture pack. I'm gonna look inside there, I'm gonna go to text. You could edit the credits if you really so desired. I'm just gonna change all the splashes. So the only splash is uh, lollipops. Nope, nope, it's gonna be whatever floats your goat. There you go. And um, of course we can go over here, head to textures, head to blocks, and you can change all your common stuff. You can start editing it with your software. I might make side grass. Whoop. Grass. 
I'm gonna make it so grass has a, I don't know, black hole in the middle. Why not? Yeah. There we go. Cool. Has a black hole. I'm gonna save that. Easy. And there we go. Grass now has a black hole in it. Anyway, now that you've done all this, you are ready to go. So you wanna just head over and open Minecraft. All right guys, so we are in Minecraft. As you can see, it's just still the default texture pack going. So let's hit options. Let's go to resource packs. Let's find the creepy worm. There he is right there looking very creepy indeed. Okay, done. It's on top and uh, done. And let's go to, oh, hang on. You can't reset the splash, can it? Oh, let's go single player. Let's go play a world, see if it worked. And there we go. There's random holes in the side of all the grass. So it has worked. Save and quit to title and the splash is also working. Whatever floats you got. There you go. All right, guys, that's the end of this. I hope you guys did like it. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Otherwise, I don't know. Tell me if you want more stuff like this. I'll see you guys later.